at the beautiful cloister one end of the cloister they built that new in the 1980s or even maybe 90s but following the very antique style of the main building I think this is actually oak timber and the big structural beams of timber all visible stone masonry this was built 80s or 90s but could be centuries old intentionally done like that you can see that they're not using nails but uh, wooden plugs to connect these big oak beams so you can walk here one can sit protected from the rain from the sun sit down have some Dhamma Sakatra, some discussion of the Dhamma. People can come in all day actually and uh, enjoy the peaceful, quiet atmosphere of the monastery. Sit on a bench in the cloister, overlook the little pond and the lawn surrounded by the cloister, or just walk. Now, that's a nice thing you can do in a cloister walk, even if it's raining, even if the sun is a bit strong. Walking along the cloister towards the Dhamma Hall. Another little bench, and here you see the pond with lilies, white lilies blossoming in the pond. The far end of the cloister. Behind that is a new vihara, the facilities for the monks. Here are the bowl washing facilities where the Sangha is cleaning up the bowls after the meal, very suitable for washing arms bowls for Buddhist monks, well protected, they have hot water, another lawn, and we can have a sticky beak inside the meditation hall. This is a meditation hall that used to be an old shed, and it's very difficult here in England to get permission to build anything new. But if you already have an existing building, you can do modifications, you can renovate. So they established their Dhamma Hall by renovating an old shed which was already here in that property. Let's go in. We have to put down our shoes. There are plenty of free distribution books in the vestibule, the entrance hall. People are free to come in all day, walk in, take the distribution books and to go into the Dhamma Hall and quietly sit and meditate. No one is doing it right now. In the Eastern end, we have the Pratchnya Paramita statue, very beautifully done by Ajahn Vimalo. As mentioned, no, they didn't have much choice with the exact shape of their meditation hall. It's a bit uh, long, stretched very long. The reason being that they had to use the existing shed and renovate. They were not allowed to build something completely new. Zoning around London, very, very difficult. And again, a very old looking, very solid oak beams, all visible as supporting the roof. 
This is a site where the monks sit. Uh, later we will have our evening puja. And here you see the main Buddha statue of the meditation hall at Chitta's Chitta Viveka Monastery, the first one established by Ajahn Shah and Lumpur Sunidu in a Western country.